Hey guys, this is Futures Analytica. Welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to be doing a live stream recap. So this is going to be a recap and analysis of my live stream from February 27th, 2023. From this day, we traded the market open with the Polarity ETI and the Analytica chart four. So that being said, let's head right into it. So I'm located in California, so the market opens at 6.30 a.m. That being said, you can see at the bottom of the screen, the market did just open. So we have this strategy automatically armed in regression mode with arm both. So first off, let's go over our reasoning for why we decided to do this. So before market open, we saw price spike very consistently in the upward direction over the course of about 30 minutes. And then right when that spike stopped, we saw a delta divergence in the bearish direction, as well as those two green imbalance zones below. And then right after that price spike, we saw price bounce back and forth for three bars, meaning that this is a pretty textbook regression type area. At market open, more times than not, you're going to be in regression. Obviously, sometimes there's some exception with some very obvious strong delta where you're going to be trying to fight. You don't want to be fighting the trend, but we got into a regression trade here. It's the first trade of the day, and you'll see that we got armed in both directions after we got filled, meaning that we're keeping the strategy on and we're essentially going hands-free. Also, guys, you really don't want to be missing out on these live streams. I think that they are tremendously helpful. You guys have said so yourselves that these are very helpful for you guys to understand the market in a real-time environment. And I think that it adds some credibility to the system to see it work in real time in front of you. So if you don't want to miss out on those, make sure to turn on your notifications and subscribe to the channel. I'm slowly going to be ramping up to doing possibly three a week. I'm trying to do two a week, but three a week is the end goal here. So um, you're going to see a lot of fresh content from me, as well as a lot of content on how to trade the Analytica chart for. This is a pretty exciting new dynamic to the system. The Analytica chart four adds a lot of new factors that are very easy to read. We've tried to make it as ergonomic as possible to read Delta and data and stuff like that. So that's definitely something to be excited for if you're a fan of this channel and this trading strategy. So, okay, here we finally got our second fill of the day. Usually in market open, you're gonna get some pretty fast back-to-back -back fills, but for some reason, Polarity kept us out of there. It was pretty hard to read and there weren't really any intense order flow imbalances for the system to trade off of, but that's okay. So now we've made our way down to that green absorption zone that was marked automatically by the Analytica chart four. So we're leaving it in regression mode. You can see pretty obviously here that there's some chop going on and we're gonna try and take advantage of any chop we can by leaving it in regression mode to, for the system to automatically capture any alpha that we can get inside of that choppy area. This time this trade was a long trade. So the thesis behind this trade is essentially Price is not going to want to go through that green line, although price is a, was eventually going to make its way down to it. It's going to need a lot of momentum before it gets through that. So we're basically doing that first touch strategy that I guess some of you guys are familiar with. Once it touched that line, we got filled long, pushed upward, and we're going to get filled pretty quickly here. We're leaving it in regression mode because there's no reason for us to change our trading thesis nowadays. So we're going to leave it in there and we're going to wait for another trade once this one gets filled. So you can see there, this trade played out much quicker than the previous one did. And right after that, we get filled into another long trade, almost at the exact same entry point in terms of price that our previous trade was at. Doing the same thesis, price does not have enough momentum or strength to push through this previously marked imbalance level. So also these zones are automatically marked by the Analytica chart four plus, which we'll be releasing on March 10th, by the way. The base Analytica chart four is free for all Analytica chart three owners, whether you bought it through Lifetime or if you bought it through the Polarity package. So you'll receive an email on March 10th with a free download to that. And back to the trading, just like before, very, very simple fill. The structure of what happened was the same as the last trade where price peaked out of that imbalance zone went down a little bit, then went all the way back up to our take profit. We're gonna try and rinse and repeat here again. We have not changed anything since market open. We're leaving the strategy on. So the system has continuously been looking for trades since market open. You'll see up here that our system is about to enter another long trade. 
This trade ends up being the first losing trade of the day. However, after we enter this trade, we leave the strategy on and don't switch anything. Losses are expected to happen. No system is going to win every single time. So what happens here is our system goes long and then when it gets stopped out, it looks for a better entry on that same position. It is a fake push through of this previously marked and balanced level. So we, it ends up going long once more once it's below this zone. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So at this point, we have two future decisions that we're making right now based on conditionals. The condition for this next trade is that if this trade wins, we, we switch it into trend mode. If this trade loses and, and pushes below that second green automatically marked and balanced zone, we put it into trend mode. But if it stays in between those two zones, we put it in regression mode as that will be the new found range. What happened now is that if we go all the way back up through this green zone and get filled, we've already broken up a ton of that sell pressure. And it's pretty obvious that we're going to get at least a little bit of short term bullish movement, which is exactly why we would put it into trend mode. It wouldn't be choppy. Okay, as you can see that we got filled on that trade, we switched it into trend mode especially once it passed this absorption level at the $4,009 mark. And that is the one action that we took this entire trading day. Once we turned the strategy on in regression mode, the only thing we switched was trend mode once on those conditions. So after this, literally all we do is we leave arm both on and we let the strategy do its thing. Our profit target for these streams is $5,000. So once we reached our $5,000 profit target, we stopped trading for the day. However, you'll see in this video that even when we passed $5,000 and we stopped trading, there would have been actually three more winning trades if we just hadn't touched the strategy at all and just left it on, which depending on how you look at it, it's kind of sad that we didn't get, but you know, I'll take what I can get. I'd say $5,000 trading day is not bad at all. Also guys, I wanna emphasize that when I'm doing these live streams, I'm actually giving live commentary now. So if you're interested in how I'm making these trading decisions minute by minute, with at least a general explanation of why I'm doing those things live, I highly suggest tuning into our live streams. You can either subscribe to the email list or turn on notifications for this YouTube channel and you'll get a notification when we go live. Anyway, guys, like I said before, since there are no decisions being made after this point, there isn't really much commentary that I can give further on. Keep watching it though, because I you're going to want to see the Analytica chart for in action and the Plarity ATI work in conjunction with it. So highly suggest watching it to the end before you see that. But I am going to be on vacation from when this video is posted all the way to Tuesday. So my next live stream will probably be on Wednesday morning. So if you're interested in tuning into that, you're gonna have to wait till Wednesday. So make sure you turn on notifications and I will see you guys on Wednesday. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and for your support. It means the absolute world to me.